Hello guys, today we will see how to calculate the hour of light and in this video downside you can see the aggregate from the paper. Now it's one pitch. First of all, we need some data like what is the pitch, what is the outer diameter, the bigger one, and what is the diameter, the small one. From here, we can start the calculation. And I assume that my pitch is 200 mm and the outer diameter is 300 mm and the small diameter is 100 mm. You can see for the demo, I made this from the paper. If I fold on a pipe, now you can see what is this actually. The small diameter and this is the pitch and this is the shape what we overlap on the pipe. Downside the diameter, the small diameter and the pitch, the straight line and this is the length we need to calculate small length for small diameter the small L and the capital L is for the bigger diameter in step 1 <coughs> we need to calculate the small length in step 1 we will calculate the small length and for this we have a formula under root d into pi square and the pitch square now I will put the values and you can see by multiply and then open the square root by adding both the values and the result is 372.41 these all dimensions are in millimeter in step 2 we will calculate the same thing for the capital L and formula will be remain same but for here we need the bigger diameter the outer diameter and we will continue by putting the values and you can see in the blue we have mentioned all the values now by adding and the capital length is 963.47 millimeter in step 3 we will see how to calculate the small dia and bigger dia for the development and here we have a formula for the small diameter bigger d minus small d length the bigger length divided by small length minus 1 we will put all the values mentioned in blue and now we will calculate all the values and we have the result for the small die is 125.8 in step 4 we will calculate the bigger die for development we have formula and we will put all the values and the result in front of you and in our index in the blue we will put all the values we have previously calculated these are all the values and now we will calculate the degree the cutting degree in step 5 you can see we need to calculate 
the cutting degree and for this we have the formula the total length divided by the circumference divided by 360 degree now we will put all the values and it will give how much length we have in one degree and we have the total length 963 divided by 2.84 and this is the whole circumference we need for one segment and from 360 degree i will minus 339 and i have the result 21 degree this is the final the cutting degree and st in step 6 we will calculate the same thing for the bigger dia and we will verify we can verify if both degrees are same then our calculation is okay now the same process i will put all the values in the formula circumference divided by 360 and the total length divided by 1 degree and now you can see the same the same result 339 degree and the same process 360 degree minus 339 and the result is same 21 degree and this is our final degree for the cutting before development now we have the development size is this in front of you the small die is 125.8 the bigger die is 320 5.8 and the cutting degree is 21 as you see previously i cut the paper for the same process now we all up this demo is for further this demo is for the further detail the concept you can clear from here